ChatGPT just dropped their new MCP feature that allows you to speak to thousands of apps all within their chat interface. So the way we have to set it up is we have to make sure that we are on developer mode. And in developer mode right here, I just have to select the MCP server that we have to connect this to. And the way that this fundamentally works is that we have ChatGPT. This sends a request to the MCP hub. And the MCP hub in this case can be Rube.app, which is connected to hundreds of apps like Gmail, Notion, Slack, Twitter, Linear, Jira, YouTube, and Discord, which now we can access all within the same hub right here in ChatGPT. So as you can see now, this is connected to Gmail. I can say, send an email to Michele at Gym Solutions saying that we have an onboarding meeting tomorrow at 8 p.m. And my name is James. I can run this just like as you would for a normal ChatGPT run. As we can see here, now it's looking for the available tools that this is connected to. In this case, we know that Gmail is connected to our Rube.app, which is the MTP server. Now it's drafting the email content, to then send it to us to then review, to then be able to send it to uh, the actual email. Here's the email that we want to use. I can say, yes, send it through. And when I send yes, send it through, now it will actually send the email to the person that we told it to, just chatting with ChatGPT using the MCP server. As you can see now, it's calling the tool that it's using. In this case, it will be Gmail right here. All right, so now it's saying that all set. I've sent the email. So if I go to my email here, I can see that I have an onboarding meeting tomorrow at 9 p.m. Say, hi, Michele, this is James. Just confirming our onboarding meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, September 23rd at 9 p.m. Please let us know if you'd like to adjust the time or if there's anything you'd like me to prepare in advance. Best, James. And this is all done through the ChatGPT platforms, which is honestly insane. Now, a limitation that this has is obviously the time that it takes to send the email. For small and simple tasks that require seconds, you're much better off just doing it yourself. But just having something like this, that is a chat interface that you can chat to it like a normal human that is connected to all these different softwares is, is crazy to have, right? It's insane because um, it lowered the barrier of entry for you to actually do things without having to create automations on make.com and it's end lovable, bolt, anything that you have there. Now I've made a full video showing you exactly how you can set it up from scratch and how it works step-by-step. Step. If you want access, make sure to check out the first link down below.